wheat is the best. Veggies and fish are great too, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing like a good cut of meat. May I join you? Hey, Lawrence. You here to eat? It looks like you barely grabbed anything. Please, this amount will suffice for me. There's no need to compare our portions. No wonder you're so skinny. My little sis eats more than you. Come on, have some of mine. You need it more than I do. Uh, you offer me half-eaten scraps? The nerve. With manners like that, even a nobleman would be an absolute disgrace. Have you no dignity? You're pretty touchy, huh? It's probably just because you're hungry. Raphael, please, do you mind? I cannot enjoy the simple pleasure of a meal in these conditions. Why can't you enjoy your meal? You don't like what's on the menu? You wait here. I'll go to the kitchen and find something tastier for you. That won't be necessary. Please, just let me eat. In peace. Alone. I don't think you get it, Lawrence. Nothing goes with a meal better than good company. If leading the Alliance is your goal, you should really try eating with other people first. I'm afraid I fail to see the connection between leadership and dining. If you want to be a leader, you have to know how to get along with different types of people, right? If you really want to get to know someone, all you have to do is share a meal with them. Quite the contrary, unfortunately. It seems the more time I spend eating with you, the less likely we are to become friends. The, the more you eat with someone, the more you learn about them. Their likes, their dislikes, you know? You might get some of their food that way too. You can eat more and bulk up. <laughs> All that talking made me hungry again. I'm gonna go get seconds. Oh, what an absolute bother. But I suppose he does have a point about observations of character at the dinner table. I gotta eat something. Again, Raphael? Here, perhaps this will suffice. Really? I can have this? But don't you need to eat after all that training? We can't have you starving, can we? Your strength is a great asset. It would be a terrible loss if you fell faint in battle. Besides, no true noble can look upon the hungry with indifference. S -s Seriously? Wow, that's awful generous of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, but listen while you eat. I believe it would benefit you to pay more attention to the way you carry yourself in the company of your betters. It is the duty of the nobility to protect the common folk. And, in return, the commoner is expected to show deference and respect. Naturally, I understand that there is a certain tendency toward familiarity because we are classmates. However... <coughs> Ah, oh, that was tasty. Raphael, did you hear a word I just said? Oh, hey! I sent my little sis some of that fancy treat you gave me a while back. She wrote back to say that it was tasty and to thank you. So thanks. That is excellent news. I'm pleased to hear that you both enjoyed it. But there's no need for you to thank me. It was actually a gesture of gratitude in the other direction, from me to you. Thanks to the wisdom of your words, I have begun to consider my approach to dining in a completely new way. Mealtime has proven to be ideal for the study of character. It is a tool I intend to make great use of as the leader of the Alliance. Yep, it's just like I told you. Food tastes better when you eat with good company. That's not quite what I meant. <laughs> no matter. You are satisfied, I trust? I could probably keep eating, but I'm ready to train. All right, time to get back to it so I can protect my buddy, Lawrence. <laughs> I've not quite gotten through to you, have I? It is not the duty of a commoner to protect a noble. That is fundamentally against the order of society. But if you hadn't given me food just now, I couldn't survive on the battlefield because I'd be too weak to train. Who'd take care of my little sis if I wasn't around? She'd probably end up starving to death as well. In a way... By feeding me, you're protecting her, too! It was only a little food. There's no need to get carried away. You're a real decent noble, you know that? Worrying so much about my sister and all. All I gotta do is protect you, then you protect everyone else, right? 
I'm not certain your logic is sound, but your strength is undeniable. Very well. Do as you like. Dining certainly is a window to the soul. Eating with you has helped me to see that I've misjudged you. You're not some gluttonous simpleton. You are grateful for the protection the nobility offers and eager to emulate our example.